Do 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 do. What's up, YouTube? How you doing? It's Josh, FJ55 Iron Pig. Thanks for clicking on the video. Where are you? What are you looking at? Well, good reason to have a magnetic pan. Got screws. Got my Allen wrench. Got the light on the camera. Got a new flashlight from Sam's Club. Three pack. You got high, low. Strobing effect. It's actually a pretty good strobe. We are actually, I rearranged my room. Excuse the mess on the desk. Got everything disheveled. I'm on my lunch break. We are going to be putting my desk back together. So I hope this is coming up on audio too. I'm sure it is. No reason why it wouldn't. Move you around over here. Can you see any of the holes? Yeah, you can see some of the holes there. That camera behind me. So yeah, how you guys doing? I hope this video finds you in good spirits, in good health, and just an overall general goodness. Life for me has been okay. Not too shabby. Not too shy. Um, what's going on with Josh lately? Not a whole heck of a lot. I got a video I'm going to do after this one. Be sure to check that one out too. If I have time after putting the desk together, I will actually do that video next. Um, in my world here in Arkansas, it's been very rainy. Today's the first nice day we've had in a while. It's not rainy. Don't get me wrong, we need the water and I'm very appreciative of it. And I do like the rain because it's, you know, snuggle weather. Great to snuggle with the wife in that weather. But when you have it all within a couple days, it gets a little old, a little quick. I wouldn't mind if it was a little spread out. But we need the water, so whatever. It's all good. Uh, my dogs, which I think you've seen parts of them on the last video I posted, wearing their cute little jackets. Well, the black one, she's the newest one we have. She's been with us a year now, a little over a year. Her name is Gemma. She is a Great Dane. And looking at her coat, I would assume she's not just a black gray dame, but she's also got a little chocolate in her, too. Now, it doesn't mean her daddy was black. Well, he may, who knows. But she has that rare gene where she's got a little chocolate. She's got a number one white stripe on the chest. Also, she's been having the... Ever since we've had her, she's had these weird allergic reactions. First, we thought it was anxiety because she's in a new place. But they kept getting worse. So we figured, well, she must be some pollens or grass or something. Took her, had her tested a couple times, the basic test. Always came back negative. Well, it got to the point where she was having lesions. She was pulling her hair out, driving herself nuts all night long. Which, by turn, drives us nuts all night long. Or by turn, in turn, drives us nuts as well. Because, you know, that's what you hear all night long. Gang, 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 scratch, 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 gang, 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 all night. So we forked over the cash and did the, I think it was like three or four hundred bucks. I mean, it is the big daddy of the, oh, what is it, what word I'm looking for? It's the big test for all your allergies. It's the full blood test, full panel, whatever it's called. Well, the doctor, the vet, and yes, they are doctors. They go to school longer than doctors. So I trust a vet quite a bit more than most doctors. Calls up my wife. So at my work, he says, well, your dog is allergic to life. And he's laughing. We have a good rep good relationship with our vet. We're one of the few uh, people with animals that actually cares about their animals. Treats them right. Treats them like they're a family member, because they are. Literally, she's allergic to every type of grass. <laughs> Pollens, ragweed, uh, what else was it? Uh, dander, yeah, from pets. Imagine that. Dust mites. Dust. <laughs> Certain dirts, I believe it was as well. It was uh, it was rather ridiculous to get that report back. I was surprised. Very, very surprised. So the course of treatment for this, of course, is expensive as a motor scooter. And that's because uh, she has to have shots. Not just a shot once every six months or three months. That'd be cool. 
No, it's shots every single week. And uh, we weren't going to pay to go do that at the vet's office. So, no, we didn't have her put down in case you were wondering. No need to do that. We're giving that, giving her the shots ourselves. Like I said, we have a good relationship with the veterinarian. And this is something you're able to do. It's not illegal or anything. But not every Jane and John Smith out there can do it. Because it takes... One, you have to care about your animals. But two, it takes a certain type of person, not just to be give your animal shots, but to do it all the time, on time, and to track the progress as well, just like the vet would do. So that's what we've been doing for the last couple of months now. We're down to once a week, and we actually throttle that up to once every four to five days because she starts itching like crazy, and this is going to possibly be for the rest of her life. We're aware of this, and we're willing to accept it. It sucks at times, yeah. But, you know, that's life. Everything can't go the way you want it. And we're doing pretty good with it. She's doing better. Her coat's getting better as well. She still has her episodes, but she's doing good. The rain has really helped because it keeps a lot of the pollens and molds and dust mites down, which is good. And this would have been really bad if we were still living in Colorado. Very dusty there. So, yeah. Just kind of wanted to share about that, kind of get it off my chest. Because, you know, it's, it's another stress in life. I love the dog very much. She's a great dog. Really watches after my wife while I'm at work, which is the main thing for me. Anytime I'm not home, she's in charge. No one gets out in this house except for three people when I'm not here, which is a good thing. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. If you guys have any questions or comments, you know what to do. Throw it down below. And I uh, hope you weren't too bored with this and hopefully the information I imparted on you had some type of a uh, relevance in your life take care of your pets love the people close to you give someone you know a big old hug and tell them that you, you love them because you never know when that day will be thanks for watching you guys take care